Cotton is an important cash crop in the northern regions, providing employment and income for farmers and their families. However, weeds and insect infestation, especially the cotton bollworm complex, are serious threat to cotton production. Cotton cultivation in the country for 2014 farming season is a little over 5,000 hectares as against 10,000 in 2012 and 13 farming seasons. In making agriculture research responsive to farmers' needs in the northern region, the Savannah Agriculture Research Institute is conducting trials on the efficacy of three Roundup Ready herbicide formulations on weeds and two genetically modified cotton varieties. The principal investigator on cotton research is Sari, Dr. Imalo Chamba. In an interaction with the Parliamentary Select Committee on Health, Trade and Agriculture and Environment Science and Technology, noted that the introduction of the new traits into the BT cotton trial is to reduce the laborious process of manual weeding. The Roundup Ready gene has been added to the BT cotton gene. The BT cotton offers protection against the bollworms on cotton. Good. So also are spraying about six, seven times during the season. With the BT, you are spraying two times. Mm -hmm. Now we have added another gene to the same seed, where the plant or it, uh, will confer tolerance to the herbicide that will be sprayed. So uh, in one seed, we have got two traits: a trait against uh, bollworms and a treat that expresses tolerance to the herbicide. You are not going to burn down and then weed. You are only going to spray your field. And you are doing that two times and you are going to control all the weeds. So you are not going to do manual weeding. You are going to save time. In an interaction with the media on the plant breeders bill currently in Parliament, the Deputy Minister for Food and Agriculture, Dr. Ahmed Al Hassan, called on interest groups in the country that have issues with the bill to suggest amendments for consideration. Let me say that in Parliament's procedure, this bill has already gone through that process. Uh, when a draft bill is brought to Parliament after cabinet approval, it is also advertised as a bill that is, that, is, that is in Parliament for every citizen of Ghana who has an interest to suggest amendments to the bill 167 in Parliament. It is not too late for any interest group that believes that certain sections of that bill are inimical to the economic development of this country to do so as the second constitution stage is underway. The director of SARI, Dr. Stephen Nutrigan, called for sustained regular press briefings on research activities on genetically modified organisms to instill trust in the public. From Tolo, Luanash, Fovasa One News.